TRW, okay, um, this is, uh, Battle of Pleasant Hill, Jaijin Tactics Magazine game number 106, um, Great Battles of the American Civil War series, without, uh, going into any background detail of what's going on in my gaming life right now, and my gaming experiences, um, I am actually quite determined to, uh, I was about to say learn this system, but I'll say I'm quite determined to figure out what's going on with this system and, uh, um, figure out where it fits in my, uh, gaming preferences. So I thought, I, I'm thinking, hoping that, uh, Pleasant Hill is a such this is in really good condition um uh is a good place to start um now i'm focusing on i'm focusing on the uh focusing on the standard rules um not really focusing at all on the game here the battle or anything i did set up these these forces on this side of the battlefield this corner of the battlefield actually I'm just going to focus here. I'm going to focus on, again, the standard rules. I'm not going to pay a lot of attention, and pay very little attention, actually, to the actual, um, the exclusive rules, the Battle of Pleasant Hill rules. That's not the focus here. It's definitely on the uh, Great Battles of the American Civil War series. So let's get going. Um, the, uh, the Confederate side there. Again, I'm not paying, paying attention to the battle, so everybody is in action here. First player is the Confederates. That's my little reminder over there. Um, you have initial command phase, movement phase. Um, so I'm going to get started here. Over here we have a uh, Major's Independent Brigade. Um, so let's say we have stacked stacking here. Strength 2 and... Two, so four, four strength points. Um, two, uh, three morale. Not, not so hot actually. Uh, stacked together there. I still don't know in this series what um, stacking order means, um, if anything. Okay, so um, terrain. This is this is woods here. Um, I guess even though it's splotchy, I was thinking about this before, even though it, it's all the woods have this splotchy pattern, um, which by itself I don't mind, but I guess they're all just considered wood, woods hexes. So the fact that there's a the fact that there's a clear hex side here, I don't know that that means anything in, in this game, in this series. Um, let's see. Oh, terrain effects on movement. Um, that doesn't seem to mean anything. Um, terrain effects on combat. Um, unit that crosses hex, I do engage in melee. So let's see if it matters in woods. Woods, cavalry, charge into or through, no. That makes sense. Blocks line of sight, one hex. Um... Yeah, I don't see that the hex sides matter. Uh, okay, so anyways, I guess this is all woods. I'll tr I'm treating it that way for now anyways. Uh, infantry is in line. They have six movement allowance. They're going to spend two for the woods, so they're going to go like that. Um, so this Major over here, he's got uh, rifle arm, two strength unit, rifle arm, two strength unit. So he has four strength points of rifle armed infantry there. They move up there. Um, let's move this cavalry. So here we have B's independent uh, cavalry uh, formation here. So here's B right there. Uh, he's got. Um, 
also morale three. Musket armed four strength and rifle armed four strength also morale three. Um, um, Movement for mounted cavalry through woods is a three, uh, and they have a movement allowance of twelve. So, uh, so I guess it's uh, three. Um, cross the cross the stream for mounted cavalry is plus one. So that's. Four five. Um, now to go uh, to go up that elevation. What does that mean? Up cr up crest, I guess, is what they call it. So it is an, an, an additional one. So this is six seven six seven. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, we'll do that. All right. Um, so I'm wondering about these infantry back here. All right, changing into column. Um, change formation is two. So go like that. They have, I guess, four remaining. They four. So that's. Um, Three, which again, you know, I never. Oh no, that's a leader, so it does, that doesn't matter. We're stacking, okay, crossing the stream. Um, yeah, I'm not sure if there's something special. I see this 10 30 here in blue, which is very interesting. I have no idea what that means. Um, no, I won't. I won't. Hmm. Now we'll move. I'll move them across the stream following the road. Um, let me see real quick, maybe. Okay, the exclusive rules, there they are. Let's see what they have for just looking at the table of contents. We have um, sharpshooters, artillery, under artillery, we have rapid fire battery crews. I guess that's um. I guess that's. I guess that's these guys. Um. Hmm. I wonder if they're supposed to have. Crews assigned at the from the start. Hmm. Counter battery fire prolonged movement. All right, independent units. Actually, those are independent. So. Uh, independent regiments. Yeah. Terrain. Okay, there they are. Um, that's funny. They don't. They have a train section, but I don't see the streams. Streams, roads across the streams. Hmm. Elevation. Hmm. Woods. Okay, there's. So woods are peculiar to Pleasant Hill. The maximum line of sight of woods is one hex. The maximum line of sight in woods is one hex. Units can always see into the first woods hex, but no further. Units defending in the woods against fire combat receive a defensive benefit of one column shift to the left. That's just... That's funny. That's just normal. Why is that so unusual? <laughs> gully. No, it's not the gully. Roads. None of the roads on the map have bridges where they cross. There we go. Across the stream. So it's under roads, not stream. Units always pay the full stream cost when crossing the stream, even while moving along the road. Terrain and column shifts. Units fire. Okay. Hmm. No reference to that 10 30. Uh, slash 10 slash 30. Maybe it's uh, with respect to victory. Probably. Probably. And how do you win? Um, ge geographic objectives. Oh, there they are. Okay, so it looks like. Yeah. Okay. That that's 
That's for VPs. Okay. Not a, not a concern to me right now. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. They're going to do the same. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, guys are in line. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Um, yes, that's right. All right, so um, he's actually supposed to be start out unlimbered. Um, I guess that's right. Now we have defensive fire phase. I guess I. This is going to be. No, I guess I guess this will work. Well, yeah. I guess the union. Oh, I know what it is. Um, oh yeah, the Union Artillery here, well, I guess you can fire at these guys in the woods here. Um, right away it will definitely be, well, there's four strength points in there. Four density, that's, that's zero. Um, strength column, well, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And this is a TB, which is a um, three-inch rifled. Yeah, so it's times one, so it's just four. So it's four to eight column for grape shot. Um, and it's left one for the woods. And so I think it's, I need to get a six. And roll a five, close. Um, okay. I guess that's it for defensive fire, offensive fire. So I'm assuming that uh, we're going to fire right down the line here. Um, the Napoleons here, strength of four. Two, three, four, five, six. Seven. That's seven. That's eight, but that's the same column for six to eight column for current strength multiplier. We'll start here, I guess. Um, Again, I hope I'm doing the basic mechanics here right, but it, it's uh, Napoleon. It's one multiplier, so strength of four times one is four. Um, this is um, four strength points. It is left one, so it's the same. Got to get a six. A one. Um, the next one is in the clear, though. So this is... Uh, this is not, uh, there's no shift on the left, so we're in the four to eight column. There we go. There we go. So he rolled a six against the infantry there, um, which is a one. I guess there are no die roll modifiers in the game. So he takes a one loss, looks like. Um, he, his current strength is five there so it's definitely on to four and then um let's see there's no asterisk so lose, lose the indicate number of combat strength points and make a morale check for the affected units which is funny because i don't know what you do um morale is three yeah so he fails his morale check. does that mean he routes just says and make a morale check. Um, make a morale check. Morale and route. 13. Um, yeah, I think it's... Where is it? It's called unit of morale rating. Um, 
Route check must be made for each unit each time it suffers a casualty. Um, when units are routed, when there when there's a possibility that a route will occur, player will with the affected unit checks morale rating. Um, number is greater than the unit's morale rating. That unit has routed. All right, so. I know a route marker is going to be put on it, but then what? So, strength is four. Routes now. How do I route? All cash units taken prior to determining route. If a unit is stacked with a leader, subtract one. Unit suffers greater than 50%. And we didn't do that. Um, oh, so there, there is a die roll modifier for for the morale check. Effects of route must retreat three hexes. Not an expenditure movement points. Um, okay. This is just a real straightforward one, two, three. Um, you know, many games routed units have no facing. Um, Turned right units may not retreat from melee, they have no zone of control. So they must have no facing. Seems pretty standard, right? That was a lucky roll. Um, here it's still eight. Terrain is open. Four. Um, so that's another one of these. Results, that's the P. Okay, possible pin. Pin, possible pin. Here, here there is a leader. So I guess I'm going to subtract one, but he doesn't do it. It's 5 minus 1 for the leader is 4, but his morale is only 3. So he's pinned. No idea what that means. Um, I also don't know what when it comes off. Um... But it is it is pinned. I'll get back to that. Um, the Valverde, that's the um, howitzer. No max range of nine, but he still he still has a fire multiple. Still has a fire multiple of one. So he's gonna fire at the artillery there, but the artillery. A battery counts as one strength point for density purposes, so it is minus one column. So I guess I'm so I, I okay. I go back down to the need a six for a result. Oh, what do you know? I get it. What does that happen to an artillery? Yo. Well, actually, I think I think I saw that these yeah these artillery have very high morale. I'm sure that's yeah okay. So he he passes. So okay. So nothing. Um, I'm sorry, it's a P slash R. I need to pay attention to that, so, um, so he's pinned. Otherwise he would have been, I don't know, I don't know if that's something different for artillery. And finally here to here. Oh, that goes out another. No, it's still multiple of one. Still multiple of one. Yeah, nothing. Rolled a one, so that's nothing. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, what's going on with these? So we have a route pinned. I really don't know what pin means at this level. It results of fire combat casualties, or is it under morale? Retreats. Stacking, facing. Um, uh, pin. 
pin. What does pinning? There's pinning. When a unit is pinned, place a pin marker on top of all the units in the hex the pinned unit occupies. Units in a pinned hex, so hexes are pinned, may not move except to retreat as a result of melee, not before. Nor may they fire in a friendly offensive or defensive fire phase. Pinned units may use withdrawal fire and retreat fire. They may not initiate melee, although they may engage in melee when so attacked. They may not retreat before melee. Pinned units have, have a zone of control. If any unit in a stack becomes pinned, all units in that hex are pinned. Routed units may become pinned and remain routed. Pinned units may change facing, but may not change formation. Pin markers are removed in the friendly rally phase before units are rallied. Once a pinned unit is meleeed, it becomes unpinned. Alright, so... Hmm. Interesting.